Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming to our uh, pre-match press conference for our Champions League game against Bayern Munich tomorrow night. Um, please wait for the microphone before asking your question. Give your name and organisation. Who wants to start? Here at the front. Hi, Eric. Hi. Um, Aaron Maguire's not here, uh, no Rafael Varane or Mason Mount. It, with Mount and Varane, is it a case that they're not quite ready to be fit yet to play? And with Harry, did he get an injury in training this morning? He had some complaints and we have to see how bad it is. So he, um, he, he finished the training but was not good enough to travel. Is it a concern for you that you aren't picking up so many injuries this early in the season? There's 12 players unavailable for the game tomorrow night, none of them are injury related. Yeah, of course, it's a concern, but uh, that's why we knew that before, and that's why we constructed the squad uh, with depth. And so uh, we can deal with it, uh, the squad can deal with it. Uh, David. Hi, Eric. Um, Bayern signed Harry Kane this summer. You signed Rasmus Hoyland. What was the thinking behind signing potential over a proven goal scorer like Harry Kane? Um, because that had an immediate impact, obviously, here at Bayern. And, and do you feel that was the right decision, ultimately, by the club? I think we discussed it in, 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 in San Diego. So I don't think we have to uh, repeat this debate. Uh, so we are happy uh, with, with Rasmus. And so, we, uh, obviously, at first games he was injured. Uh, he played now Arsenal. He, uh, he had now a start. So, uh, now, of course, we, uh, we have to integrate him in the team. But you can see um, he has, uh, he's a big talent. And he will contribute to our, to our game. Uh, we are quite convinced of that. No. We'll take one at the front. Hi, Eric. Um, you trained Bayern's second team for two years, and I would like to know how much influence does this time still have on the way you work at Manchester United, and how strong is the connection to Bayern so many years later? Odd. It, this were great years for me. I really so enjoyed it here, and um, I like the mentality uh, from uh, from Bayern, uh, the, the rich in Bayern as well as, as especially the club. So we had great years. Um, first year especially, uh, we, we were champion, but then unlucky we were when that we didn't promote it. And I never forget that. But it was also a good experience. Uh, you get as a manager, as a coach. Um, yeah, so for me, it was a very good experience to be here. And, and it was enjoyable. Um, one of them. Uh uh, Andre, you've had a good start here at Manchester United. The fans admire your passion. Is that important to you? And also, have you found it? Have you had added uh, extra expectation after replacing the boots of David De Gea, one of the most established players here at Manchester United? Some would even call a legend of the football club. Have you handled that okay? Hi. Well, I'm a, I'm a very passionate player, and uh, I demand a lot for, for my players and my defenders but like I always say no, we are in this together being part of this big club is something great Manchester United is it's amazing club is huge I'm happy to be here in place uh, David it's not something uh, easy I'm trying to do my best of course the start of the season is not uh, what we want but we better this will come the situation will turn and yeah, I'm very confident. I know everything will be will be all right. It's for your style of play with Ajax almost getting to the final. Is that important in this competition? Is that a frustration of yours that some have critiqued your style of play that you haven't quite got it yet here at Manchester United? Uh, uh, first part, I didn't um, I didn't hear. Can you repeat it? Huh? Can you hear that now? Sorry. 
last time you was in the champ in Champions League with Ajax, you was praised for your style of play, almost getting to the final with Ajax. There's been some critique that we still haven't got an actual style of play at Manchester United. Is that the biggest frustration, the injuries, the constant changing, never being able to have that established team? Do you need that in this type of competition? I, 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 one thing is true, I think from the start last season, I think I almost never started uh, with uh, the best, I would say, in my opinion, the best start 11. Uh, there was always something uh, like an injury. So, but you have to deal with it. And I think we always got uh, the results in, uh, apart from the period where we are now. So, and that is, that is football and there's always part and um, yeah, I have the experience in the past, I managed it in the past. Uh, it's not always going up. And you have to deal with it, and yeah, it's all also. Um, yeah, I like these situations because now we have to handle handle it, and we have to manage this, and we. Uh, so you have to know what to do, and that is focusing on the process. Uh, one there. Thank you. Hi, Eric. Just wondering of what you've made of Bayern Munich's start to the season. They obviously had the defeat against Leipzig in uh, the Super Cup, and they've conceded twice against Leverkusen, do you see ways that you can exploit them defensively as much as they've been impressive with those attacking players, including Harry Kane? Uh, I think they are, as you say, they have very attractive plays, um, very skillful. Uh, you, um, you can't be unfocused for one second, one split of second, because uh, they, uh, so much individual class they have. Uh, uh, but as you say, yeah, they leave you also sometimes spaces. Huh? But yeah, we are very uh, respectful and we know Bayern, especially in Champions League, huh? uh, at home, especially group stage, they are very strong. But yeah, um, as you say, but yeah, we are looking forward we, because we like the challenge and also yeah, we, we trust ourselves. Uh, Paul. Eric, appreciate you do have quite a big squad uh, in total, but the nine players that are out through injury, uh, there are some quite senior players, important players in that group. Can you go to your doctors, your physios, etc., and say, ask them why these kind of injuries are happening to your players? I don't know if we have to go to the doctors or physios because they are dealing uh, with the problems. And um, so, yeah. Uh, First of all, is injuries always coming in top football because we are living on the edge, and and when you are living on the edge, yeah, the injuries uh, will coming up, and of course we analyze um, why things happens, but also we have to deal with the facts, and it's always about the players who are available, and that's a strong side, and what we can line up, and we have to get the best out of it, and we're focusing on that, and to to bring up tomorrow again a uh, good team, uh, make the next step, uh, integrating Rasmus Hoyland, integrating uh, Rigolion, uh, so two new players uh, in our way of play, and yeah, we are here to get a result. A uh, question for Andre. Hi, Andre. Um, you mentioned before about the demands you, you place on teammates. A lot is, is still being made about the, the incident or argument with Harry Maguire in Las Vegas, I think your first game for the club, where you reacted to, to a mistake he made. Are you surprised how much is still being made of that? And is that just a case of that's your, that's your game and that happens? Please, can you, go, can you go slowly? Because I don't, I don't. The, I was talking about the, the incident with Harry Maguire, I think, in, in Las Vegas mm -hmm. when you first started with the club and a lot is still being made of that. Are you, are you surprised how much was made of that? And is that just what you're like, that you will react if you feel a teammate has, has made a mistake? No, Harry is a, is a very good guy. I have a great relationship with him. I, I even spoke with him this morning before we, we, take, we take off to, to Munich. And what happened there, I already explained straight away after, after, after the game. I don't think we have to give importance to, to what happened because we are, we are big guys and what happened in the pitch stays in the pitch and with Harry, we have a great relationship. Um, BBC at the back. Uh, 
Eric, I'm just wondering, whether, since the weekend, whether you've, whether you've felt the need to have any sort of reset with the squad, you know, a kind of start over again, whether there's anything like that that you've done? No, we don't feel that we need to reset. Absolutely not. And we are in a process. And what you see is that we, in, in parts of game, play very good. But, uh, but, but then also part of games, uh, we play below our levels. And yeah, so what we have to demand is uh, be consistent. And so we have to step up in, in certain levels all the time uh, for 90 plus minutes. And that is a demand on us. Um, one here. Andre. Um, we know that you're renowned for playing out from the back. You're very comfortable on the ball as a goalkeeper. How important is it for you to show that you're more than that, though? You are a good shot stopper. You are good at um, claiming crosses. You can command the box. Do you, do you find that frustrating? And, and do you feel that you also need to prove that you're not just good with your feet? You're more than that. Well, I don't think I'm here because I'm only good with my feet. <laughs> because we are... Uh, my history speaks for me, but um, like I always say, the most important thing is the team. You know, we are here to to win, and I have to adapt myself with uh, with the team. You now, if the team need me to be good with the fit, I will I will be good with the fit. If the team, if we are playing in low block or we are playing high, depend depend on the situation. You know? I'm goalkeeper first, so we have to I have to save balls. That's why I'm here, and I have to I, we all have to step up. Like I said in the beginning. We didn't start well this season, but I'm very confident everything will, be, will get right. And uh, I'm excited, you know, for tomorrow. It's an important game for us. It's a key game. And when I see how the team is working, how we, we have been working this, weeks, this week, I'm very confident and I'm very excited. So, okay. We've got Eric Oates on Marcus. As we have Rasmus now, we know that Marcus can make moments out of anything. Fantastic goal scoring returns last year. Have you had any conversations with him about how we maybe need to transform his game now we do have someone like Rasmus and the type of service that Rasmus might need? Yes, <clears throat> absolutely. And that um, how can the two can take benefit from each other? And but they have to know each other. And so that process uh, just not st just started. And yeah, um, but in the same time we need results. And so it has to go hand in hand. Uh, but yeah, we learn from every training and we learn from every game. And, yeah, and of course, we reflect uh, togetherness. And of course, we, we lead that as, as a coaching staff. And, but also, you, uh, we have seen that uh, Rasmus and Resi uh, together, uh, they are talking uh, how they can take benefit from each other. You can see that uh, discussion, that interaction on the pitch is going on and, and that's a good sign and I'm sure they uh, will get that connection. Uh, I think the connection is already there but I think they will get the routines in. Oh, okay, last question. Laurie at the front. Uh, just a question for Andre if that's okay. Um, congratulations on reaching African Cup of Nations with Cameroon. I just wondered, do you, know, do you yet know what you'll do in that situation if you're called up? If I'm called up, we don't know if I'm going to be called up, so we cannot speak about things we don't know. Let's see what's going to happen uh, in the next month, but uh, we are here to to play against Munchen. Important game for us. It's, mo it's the most important thing, so all the focus in, is in the game from tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much.